If I'm on a multi-pitch climb and I want to belay the leader directly off the anchor, one way I can do that is using a quad anchor. So here I have my quad anchor set up, close pitched in. To set up your belay device, we're going to use the shelf here. So you just clip that through. And then you can have all the slack pulled in and your climber is ready to go on the next pitch. Put the rope through your belay device, put it through the carabiner and lock it. We're using the shelf just because if the climber takes a fall, then it's only going to go so far and not going to yank the whole anchor up. So once we have the rope put it through the belay device, we're going to take one more carabiner, just put it behind that, and this is going to be our brake strand redirect. We need the brake strand redirect in case our climber takes a fall early in the climb before they get to the first draw and end up falling past the anchor. This way, it keeps the rope using the friction of the belay device and in the braking position. If we didn't use a brake strand redirect and the climber fell before getting to the first draw, it's just going over the carabiner and not really actually using the belay device. So, by using the redirect, it keeps your climber safe until they get to the first draw. To belay, they'll just feed some of the brake rope up and pull down on the climber side. And as the climber climbs up, you can continue feeding them slack as they go. Then, once the climber gets past the first draw, if you want, you can unclip the brake strand redirect to make the belay motion easier. Because if they fall at this point, everything's gonna be pulled up instead of down. So it will automatically go into the braking position.